been sometimes the day of valleys sometimes the day of mountaintops so I just want to lift up our hands to the Lord right now and in all things we want to give him praise in all things we want to give him gratitude so let's just lift up our hands to the Lord in this place and shout forth our praise for he alone is worthy of worship Oh, there is none like you, God. Oh, there is none like you, God. Oh, we praise you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, there is none like you, God. Oh, there is none like you, God. We thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Oh, Alleluia, Bama, Mama, Shia, Yaria, Yaria, Bama, Mama, Shia, Yaria. Father, as we come before you today, we are thankful that we are called by your name. We're thankful that we have an eternal hope in you. We're thankful for the family and the friends that you've given us. We're thankful for the very breath in our hearts, in our lungs, in our lives, Lord. Father, we are thankful. And we lift up our hands to you in surrender. that in that day we will see you reign on this earth and we're thankful we lift up your name we lift up your name we lift up your name Jesus Come and just rest in him this morning. 
Let's rest in that presence this morning. Second Chronicles 7, uh, Solomon prayed that prayer that God come up, arise to your rest. Father, we just pray this morning that our hearts is your resting place. Our bodies are your temple now, Lord. Abide with us. Father, let us be your habitation, your habitation of praise, your habitation of sacrifice, your habitation of worship. Let us be your place that you may dwell. Oh, that the Son of Man may find rest in us. Siadabaya. Hallelujah.
Cause out of our bellies will come out living water Come on one more time There is a sound There is a sound I love to hear It's the sound of the Savior's robe As he walks into the room Where people pray Where we hear worship He is faith Come on, we pour our faith out to you, God.
your soul and sing, sing his praise Sing his praise aloud And I'll awake my soul and sing Sing his praise aloud Sing his praise aloud Want to sing your praise we want to sing your praise and everything that have breath praise you. Oh, let everything that have breath praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you. Hallelujah. Come on this morning, let's clap our hands, come on. Don't let the stones cry out for us, come on. We want to lift up our praise this morning, amen. Come on, clap those hands, come on. We're entering a new year as an army of God, amen. For Judah goes before us, amen. Praise goes before us. Amen. Praise goes before us. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lift it up. Come on. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You said, come on. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on. Praise the Lord. Let Let everything that has breath, that has breath, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, one more time, let everything that has breath, that has breath, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, I'll praise in the valley, I'll praise on the mountain, Woo. and I'll praise when I'm sure, I'll praise when I'm doubting, hey. And I'll praise when surrounded. Praise when surrounded. Cause my praise is the waters my enemies drown. Hey! Cause as long as I'm breathing, I got a reason to praise the Lord. Oh my soul. When I don't And I'll praise cause I know You're still in control And my praise is a web It's more than a shout And my praise is a shout That brings Jericho down And as long as I'm breathing Got a reason to praise the Lord, oh my soul. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. Hey, oh I won't be quiet. My God is alive. How could I keep it inside? Oh, praise the Lord, oh my soul. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, oh my soul. No, I won't. No, I won't keep quiet. My God is alive. How could I keep it inside? One time. No, I won't be quiet. My God is alive. How could I keep it? No, I won't be quiet. 
that has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Hey, praise the Lord. Let everything. Let everything that has breath. Praise Come on, let the praises rise in this temple. Let everything. Let everything. Come on, that has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything. Let everything. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on. Let everything. Let everything. That has breath. That has breath. Sing praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything. Let everything. That has breath. That has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing praise the Lord. Can we just cut for a moment? Come on. Let the high praises of the Lord come out of your mouth this morning. Come on, come on, come on. Your unrestricted worship. Your unrestricted praise. I don't care about your personality type. Praise doesn't have a personality other than crazy. Come on. quiet my God is alive how could I keep it inside no I won't be quiet my God is I won't no I won't be quiet no I won't be quiet how could I keep it no I won't no I won't be quiet my God is alive no, I, no, I won't be quiet. My God is alive. Buddha is dead. Allah is dead, but my God, my God is alive. How could I keep it I won't be quiet. I won't be quiet. My God is alive. I won't be quiet about my testimony. I won't be quiet about where He took me from. praises of the Lord be in this temple oh God <laughs> for we enter your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise for out of our belly in 2024 shall spring forth rivers of living water so this morning God capstone every voice is saying hallowed be your name oh God it's saying you are God all by yourself and none can take your place we worship we glorify we honor Heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O oh God. And your kingdom shall not pass away. 
beautiful tongue Oh, every tongue in heaven and earth It shall declare your glory Every knee shall bow at your throne In worship you be exalted, O oh God And your kingdom shall not pass away To the ancient of days From every nation All of creation Bow for the ancient of days Blessing and honor Glory and power Be unto the ancient of days From every nation All of creation Bow for the ancient of days Every tongue in heaven and earth Shall declare your glory, every knee shall bow at your throne In worship you be exalted, O God And your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of days And blessing and honor, glory and power Be unto the ancient of days from every nation, all of creation, bound for the ancient of days. Blessing and honor, glory and power, be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bound for the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory every Bow at your throne In worship you be exalted, O God And your kingdom shall not pass away O ancient of days Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth And sing to the ancient of days to your matchless word Sing to the ancient of days Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth And sing to the ancient of days And none can compare to your matchless word And sing to the ancient of days Cause every tongue in heaven and earth Shall declare your glory Every knee shall bow at your throne In worship you will be exalted, O oh God And your kingdom shall not pass away O oh, ancient of days In heaven and earth Shall declare your glory your throne in worship you be exalted O oh God and your kingdom shall not pass away every tongue and every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory every knee shall bow at your throne
to the King of Kings. Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth. Sing to the ancient.
draw me close to you. Oh, and never let me go. Oh, I lay it all down again to hear you say that I. my desire the only one that I want Jesus and no one else will do cause nothing else can take your place Jesus to feel the warmth of your Help me find a way and bring me back to you. Preeti was saying that she can sense the healing rain that's falling in this place. So if you are in need of healing, just stretch out your hands. Stretch out your hands and receive it. We receive you, Jesus. You're all we ever want. You're all we ever need, Lord. Jesus thank you for your presence in this place 
thank you for your healing in this place, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're just going to come into a time of offering. But just, he is so real here. His presence is so tangible. So we just want to remain in that. One Thessalonians five sixteen to eighteen. I think I think I think Jeevan led with that this morning. Yeah. Yesterday he was like, I got the scripture. And then he said it, and then I showed him my phone because I, I got it before. <laughs> um, but it says, rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And um, I want to focus on that, on verse 18. It says, in everything, give thanks. You know, as we come to the end of 2023 or when we come to the end of any year we tend to reflect and we look back on the past year and I just want to take that time even right now to reflect on the faithfulness of God in our lives it says in everything give thanks so it's not just the big things it's the little things it's the everyday things. It's the, in the mundane. Give thanks. As we were driving to church this morning, we were just taking it in turns in the car to just give thanks to Jesus for different things. Um, and one of the things that my son, he's 10 years old, that said that really struck me and he said, I thank you, Jesus, for giving us mouths so that we can praise you. When was the last time we thanked the Lord for giving us a mouth? <laughs> that just, it really stood out. And it's, it's in those things that we give thanks to the Lord. And I know we're probably here, we're saying, but Lord, I'm still going through a tough time. I'm still in a difficult situation and giving thanks is not just for things in the past. We can give thanks for even current situations or things that are to come. Giving thanks doesn't, it doesn't have to come from a grateful heart or doesn't necessarily mean that we're happy about the situation. To give thanks is an act of faith. It is saying, I trust in you, Lord, and your sovereignty. It is knowing that he is going to come through for us and he is going to turn everything for our good. Amen. Giving thanks is a choice. It is an act of praise. It's not a feeling. It is a decision that we make every second, every minute, every day that must become a habit. It must become a lifestyle to give thanks to God. Amen. So even today as we prepare to give unto the Lord, as you bring your offering, let there be an outward expression of our thankfulness to God. If the ushers, if you want to pass out the offering envelopes. You know, the word thank or thanksgiving, it comes from a root verb, yada. And yad means hand. So thanksgiving or to give thanks literally means to raise your hand, to stretch your hand out. Amen. 
So there is, there is an act. It requires us to do something. It's not, just, it's not just thinking in our hearts or in our minds and saying thanks. It actually requires an act on our part. To thank God is to extend or lift to one's hand. So even as we give our offerings today, Lord, we say, we are thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We are thankful for every little thing, for every time you've showed up for us. For the smallest little everyday thing, we thank you, Lord. are yet to come we thank you we thank you Jesus for the things that we don't even remember we thank you Lord and we trust in you Jesus you are all that we will ever need trust in you to turn things around for us. We pray for every offering that's being made here, O oh Lord Jesus, every act of faith, every act of thanksgiving, O oh Father. Let it be blessed. Let it bear much fruit, O oh Lord Jesus. Bless the hearts, Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you for this life that we have and this privilege to worship you, God. worship him thank you Jesus this is the This is the air I breathe In your holy presence Living in me Oh, you are my
burden every heavy heart every anxiety right now he's saying come to me come to me come to me oh he's healing heavy hearts right now some of us have woken up with this burden this morning and wondering and we have no idea what it is but he's healing it right now as you draw near to him Choose Him right now. Choose Jesus. Jesus. Can we sing again the name of Jesus, please? true he cannot be shaken he is a solid rock Jesus and splendor and beauty and I tremble at your presence Jesus I stand in awe of you Jesus show us your face give us a glimpse of your beauty Jesus you are 
holy. You are high and lifted up, Jesus. Just praise Him in your own words. Or express your love to Him in your own words. Jesus, I love you. I love your presence, oh Lord. Jesus, I want to kiss your feet. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, I can't stop singing your name. I can't stop declaring your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you made a way for us, that we may approach you and Abba Father boldly. Because of you, Jesus, because of your blood, because of your finished work on the cross, Jesus. Because you have ascended to the heavenlies, oh Jesus. 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 You are worthy of every praise, of every thanksgiving. You are worthy of all the world's adoration. Jesus. 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 I pour my love at you, Jesus. I pour my love on you. I pour my affections on you, Jesus. Jesus. You are beautiful. You are God. You are majesty. You are king. You are sovereign. You are almighty. Oh, Elohim. Yes, you are Yahweh. again in the clouds every eye will see you every knee will bow oh you are coming again Jesus and we rejoice you are the source of our joy you are our joy you are our joy you are our joy Jesus 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 Hallelujah. We love you. We love you. We love you, Jesus. Have a. I was praying to the Lord, oh, as we all should be. I was praying all for a season and been asking him on this 31st morning Lord what is it and the first thing I got was Thanksgiving <laughs> I was like yes and I kept praying into Thanksgiving and I kept hearing Obadiah 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 and you that's the book it's the shortest book in the Old Testament and as I meditated on Obadiah, I believe this is, this is not my message, but this is a word for us, for the body of Christ. Obadiah 15 says, For the day of the Lord upon all the nations is near. The return of Jesus is nearer, is closer than it was yesterday. And in verse 21, so it says, then the saviors shall come to Mount Zion to judge the mountains of Esau and the kingdoms, the kingdom shall be the Lord's. And as I was praying into this verse, the coming of the Lord should excite us. If it strikes fear in your heart, we must get right with him. The coming of Jesus excites me. I can't wait for that day. And in verse 21 it says, that Then the Savior shall come to Mount Zion. And I believe that's us, the redeemed. The Christ in you, the hope of glory. You and I, 
we carry the gospel message. We carry Jesus and we represent Him to this perishing world. And that's our mandate. That's our calling. That's the great commission on us. And there's going to be an acceleration, a stirring up of it. Uh, uh, not, not an excitement, an urge, a push to it as we enter this new year. As if there isn't enough time that each of us with what God has deposited in you, that is what you're called to express and display to the world and to every soul out there. And what is it to come to Mount Zion? Mount Zion, I believe, it, it signifies the presence of the Lord. <laughs> I love the presence of the Lord. And Obadiah means servant of Yah servant of Yahweh and I was looking we know about Obedidim and here it's talking about that the Savior shall come to the Mount Zion to judge the mountains of Esau or the kingdom of Esau or the kingdom of Edom which is the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom shall be the Lord's there's no doubt in that the kingdom everything will be the Lord's so in this time, stir up. There are no Sunday Christians in the Bible. There are no silent, quiet believers. We started this day with thanksgiving and praise. It's very vocal, the kingdom. In Genesis, God spoke. He didn't just think. He spoke the earth, the heavens, everything into creation. And it's that same God, the Holy Spirit, who dwells in you and me. I want to read another scripture before I get into my talk. I just feel it going in there. But <laughs> Zechariah chapter 2. The Lord led me to Zechariah chapter 2. And oh, where do I go in this? This is, this is awesome. Verse 10. It says, Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I am coming, and I will dwell in your midst, says the Lord. Behold, I am coming. Sing and rejoice. For us, we're not perishing anymore. If there's anybody who's here, and if you were to die right now, well, hopefully it doesn't happen now. Do you know whether you're going to go to heaven and be with Jesus or not? If you don't know that, this is your opportunity to get right with Him. The Bible says all have fallen short of the glory of God. It says the wages of sin is death. All of us have sinned. The wages of it, the due wage is debt. But the gift of God through Christ Jesus is eternal life. Oh, Jesus. And if you want to receive this gift of eternal life, Right now, all you have to do is believe in your heart and declare and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. So I'm going to say a prayer and I want to encourage every one of us to just repeat after me. And if this is your first time praying this prayer, say it with all your heart because today your name will be written in heaven and your destiny is eternal life with Jesus. Okay, I'm going to say this, just repeat. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as I am. And I'm sorry for all the sin in my life. Forgive me, Jesus. I believe that you took my sin, my curses, my sicknesses, my poverty, and every other sin in my life upon yourself and you died on the cross for me shedding every drop of your blood and Jesus you were buried and you rose again three days later conquering and defeating sin curses, sickness, poverty, 
and Satan. And you ascended into the heavenlies and are seated at the right hand of Abba Father. I am a child of God. I am living in the fullness of life in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah. So if this is the first time you've said this prayer, we want to meet you um, after service. And, but if you've said this again as a recommitment also, we want to get to know you again, all right, to help you now through this journey. Now, hallelujah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I am coming and I will dwell in your midst, says the Lord. How awesome. He will dwell in our midst and we will be in Him. Many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day and they shall become my people. And I will dwell in your midst. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. And the Lord will take possession of Judah as His inheritance in the Holy Land and will again choose Jerusalem. I'm excited. There is a stepping up for each one of us, including me. Including me. None of us are exempt to this. To display. You and I got saved because someone shared Jesus with us. We're called to fulfill our mandate, our calling in Christ. So that's the call. The day of the Lord is near. Step up. Because you and I, we live in the presence of God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, worship team. I love you guys. I want you back, please. Yeah. <laughs> so be around. Don't run away. <laughs> Give the worship team. Come on. They broke through. You know, hallelujah. Thank you so much. I just, oh my God. Today's worship set. What? Come on. That's, that's all like Thanksgiving and praise. All unto Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and, and my, my, my topic, obviously, is Thanksgiving today. <laughs> I'm excited. Say hi to someone next to you. Come on, greet them if, if you haven't said hi. If it's, it's your family, say, if it's your family, say you look beautiful. All right, guys. Uh, welcome. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Sorry. <laughs> so I don't know if you saw the message on on the family group of. Uh, oh my Jesus! I think anyway, it, it's 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 sad news of Mama Muriel passing away. <laughs> All right, and. The thing is, when I think about my mural, all I can think about is joy, all right? And she, she's been with us as a family from, I think, the beginning. Like, isn't it? Like, maybe 12, 15 years. And, oh, my gosh. So definitely 2009, 10, maybe, isn't it? Ten, yeah, so 12, 13, 14 years. This woman never gave up she knew who our god was she was a revivalist man she would bring people off the streets they would encounter the presence of the lord on the streets with her like she used to message me even she when she used to go for her treatment uh she had cancer and she would say i shared the gospel with this muslim cab driver today and he received jesus and then again on my way back this other cab driver and even to the very end, that's what she was about. You know, and I think that's inspiration. She's with Jesus right now. How awesome is that? This time, keep her family in prayer. She has two sons, Charles and Tawana. Charles is here in the United Kingdom with his family, and Tawana's in Zimbabwe. Uh, Mama Muriel's sister, I spoke to her yesterday. 
Jillian, uh, keep her in prayer and the extended family. When we have more details of what's happening, we'll let you know. I will dearly miss her. I, I, I went up to Surrey like a couple of times at home when I got the message and said, I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling really sad. I, didn't, I just didn't know how to express it. But we thank God for her life. We thank God for her life. Um, if, I'm telling you, like, if she was here right now, she'd be the first to sense the presence of the Lord. You would know it. You would hear her break out into clapping or like an exclamation of joy. She was that sensitive to God. And that's what I want. <laughs> I want that. I want to be like Mama Muro. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, at this time, also keep, uh, how many of you know Cam? Cam, uh, so Cam's husband passed away this week as well. And the testimony is, Sari was saying, she spoke to her like, in his dying breath, he gave his life to Jesus. <laughs> Come on. How good is our God? So keep Cam and her children in prayer at this time. And uh, those of you who know her, please send her a message or call her and check on her. All right. Let, let's just thank you. Let's just thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for... Mama Muriel's life, and thank you for saving Cam's husband, Lord. God, you are good, you are faithful, you are true. And Lord, we can't wait to behold what they're beholding now. You in your fullness of glory, Jesus. Bless their families. Lord, we ask for salvation in Mama Muriel's family, over Charles and his family in Tawana, and, and also we ask for salvation in the rest of Cam's family, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Uh, Mom Mimiro used to stay with us at our house. <laughs> Jitin and I were talking about it. I think I have to move on. All right, come on. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. <laughs> Say the story. <laughs> Dada, she, she was awesome. But she didn't have much, okay? She, I remember she had debt, she, had more, she paid her mortgage off two years ago. She cleared all her debt, but that's the goodness of God. And in the midst of that, she would bless people with money. Like, we were talking, like, my mom, when she used to come here, she used to go through a tough time, she used to bless my mom with money. That's, that's generosity. Generosity is about not what I have, it's what I want to give. It's, it's giving it out. You know, and she would always say, I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for Capstone. Cap and yeah, just like last time we saw her here in Capstone was for the Behold Worship Nights. She heard about the presence of the Lord here and boom, she made her way here. And she was not well at all. She made her way here. She was sitting on that side over there. So anyway, <laughs> uh, if you want to know more about Mama Muriel, come and speak to us. <laughs> she is awesome. She's even more awesome now. In, in, in glory. Hallelujah. Okay, but it's okay to grieve, you know. It, it is okay to weep and be grieving because that, that's part of emotions that God has given us. All right, so today, thanksgiving and praise. So when my wife took the offering, and as she was sharing the offering, and as Pastor Preeti got up and prayed, and as the worship team worshipped, thank you guys for being in sync with the Lord and stealing my message. But <laughs> so I have nothing else to say. God bless you. Amen. Let's go. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> One thing we need to know is that as Christians, there's, there's a lot of Christian lingo out there. And there's biblical words as well. And we need to be aware of what it is. What is the glory of God? Glory of God is the presence of Jesus himself. So when we say the glory of God is here, that means Jesus himself is here in person. Amen? So that's the truth we should know. And, the, and when we say the presence of the Lord, it's not like I spray the perfume I have and I give you that bottle and say, when you want, think of me to spray the perfume. No. The presence of the Lord is Jesus himself again. God himself present at this moment. And that's what we encountered today in worship. His presence. Amen? And worship is unto God and it's about us approaching him. Worship is always unto God. And I love, like, um, we, we know the five love languages. Somebody, yeah? A lot of us know that. Um, I'm not going to stick to that. My, my love language is chocolate. So, 
<laughs> I think every one of our love languages is a happy face, not a frowning face. Right? Isn't that true? Like, I think someone comes up to you and they go, good morning. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, well, okay. Hallelujah. Cast it out. In Jesus' name. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Your love language. That's, that's how we like to be approached. With the opposite of frown, isn't it? It's happiness or love or joy, isn't it? Yeah? No? So you guys like being approached with a frown? <laughs> All right, then I'll try. <laughs> Struggling to, because I'm, I'm bursting with joy. <laughs> but God has determined in what way he must be approached. God has determined that I want to be approached in a certain way. And how do we know that? From the word. It's listed throughout here. Throughout all of this, it's listed. Like, and that's why the word is God inspired. The word is Holy Spirit breathed. The word is Holy Spirit inspired. Amen? You know that? 1 Timothy or 2 Timothy 3.16. And love always gives what the beloved wants. Love doesn't give what, oh, I feel like giving Jeevan vegetables today instead of chocolates. No, then, then I'm not your beloved anymore. <laughs> lady's finger. No, the only lady's finger I liked, I put a ring on it. So, but as you get it, yeah. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Love always gives the beloved his desire. If we love Jesus, we love Abba Father, we love the Holy Spirit, we give them what they desire. We don't give them what I feel suits today's mood. And I, I, I heard this um, recently. Hardness of heart is the great enemy of love. Little foxes come and steal and make our hearts hard. They steal, and little foxes, they like unbelief. They like resistance and they like hardness of heart. So if you feel there's a bit of unbelief, like I, I check myself, okay? I'm not perfect. If there's a bit of hardness of heart, if I feel on the edge with everyone around me, I'm like, Arr. that means there's some hardness of heart. And I've become the enemy of love. Okay, so turn your Bibles to Psalm chapter 100, and we're going to see how God likes to be approached. You, you want to know how God likes to be approached? Yes. yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Psalm chapter 100, verse 4 and 5. Anybody know it off the top of your, without opening a Bible? Yeah? Yes. Go. Enter, 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 enter. Yes. Come on, shout it out, somebody. Praise. Yes. <laughs> Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So in, in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, where's 1 Thessalonians 5, 18? Do you guys have it? All right, I'm going to go there quick. Verse 18, it says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. What is the will of God? Give thanks. In everything, give thanks. Well, the rest of that above as well. But this is the will of God. This is what He wants. What He desires. Oh my gosh. Jesus, you want me to give you thanksgiving. Oh, what did I come in here with? Well, that's for you to check yourselves. Did I come in with thanksgiving? Or did I come in with something else? So this entry, thanksgiving is only given when it's spoken. Yeah. Who wants a sweet? All right. Who wants a sweet? Yeah. All right. I'm going to say sweet, 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 sweet. Did you get a sweet? No. You didn't get a sweet, right? David, do you want a sweet? Come here. Come, come. Yeah, who wants a sweet? Come, come, come. Yeah, you have to come and get it. So unless I give you, I haven't given you the sweet, right? There you go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what is going on here? No attacking me. Come, come, Josiah. <laughs> yeah, I got one. Who else? 
Well, I'll let you know when it's running out, okay? <laughs> there you see, I gave a sweet. Do you see that giving the sweet? I didn't just ask you and make your mouths water, did I? <laughs> I have two more. Samuel, uh, I think so. <laughs> Dwayne wants he, Oh, he gave his away. Come on, Samuel. Oh, his dad took it. Sorry. Or if you want more sweets, there might be some downstairs later. Not now. Don't go for that. <laughs> but what was there? There was a giving of it. Thanksgiving. Giving starts, I believe, from the mouth. We can't just think thanks. And that's why here it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Guys, this is going to be so crucial for where we're headed. Thanksgiving and praise. We cannot depart from this. Our life, we must be dwelling in his presence all the time. Thanksgiving is the entrance point. It's the gate. Enter his gates. When you go to someone's house that has a gate, that's the entrance point, right? So we've entered his house and we give thanks to the Lord as we enter. So our homes must be filled with thanksgiving and praise. It's not limited to this building alone. This is God's desire. It says this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Are you guys getting this? This is God's will. He loves to be approached with thanksgiving. I don't think God can thank us. He saved our lives from eternal damnation. Right? What else do we have but to thank him? All right. And an awesome example is Moses in Exodus 33. It says he pitched his tent outside the camp. He took his home outside the ta- camp and called it the tabernacle of meeting. Why did he pitch it outside? Because there was false idols that were being worshipped there before. So he separated himself from it. Separated himself from everyone and decided to set up the tabernacle of with God. And it says, when Moses entered the temple, the pillar of cloud came, which is the glory of God, which is the presence of Jesus himself. And they spoke. God spoke with Moses. Wow. Every time I hear that, I'm like, yes, Jesus, I want that. I remember when, I don't know which year this was. Where's my wife? Is she not here? Oh, she's there. Do you remember that time? I'm trying to remember when that was. We went home after a revival meeting. And I don't know if it's here or where, but we walked into our house and every room was filled with this cloud. Every bedroom. I even went to the guest room to check and there's this cloud. Do you remember that time? Oh my gosh. And I was like, oh, Exodus 33. I wonder if there's a cloud outside the house as well. Everyone will see it. And everyone will stand and behold this cloud of God, God's presence. All of Israel would stand up and honor the presence of the Lord. They saw what Moses' private life brought about. It brought about the presence of God. All right, And, and I believe, and I've been saying this, I don't know, I've been saying it to people who, who I'm around is, just as other religions by their attire and their outward outward appearance represents which false God they follow, so, Will the glory of God that dwells in you and me distinguish us? It's not by what we wear, but it will be the presence of Jesus that will separate us. And we're coming into a time like that now. We are coming into a time. People will look at you and me and say, what is it about you? What is it about you? I've had that. I have, like, if, if you, and, and that's why we must invest our personal time, not just here in this corporate setting, which is amazing. I wouldn't give up anything for this. This is beautiful. But at home, in our personal lives, thanking Jesus. So if, if you can't host the Lord faithfully by thanksgiving and praise in your own prayer room, closet, or your house, why would God trust you and your family with more? This is a question the Lord asked me. And I was really convicted because we got really overwhelmed with the busyness of life and, f- and got so consumed by it. We got tired, wanted to sleep, just eat and sleep and rest whenever we could. And we forgot this moment to host God's presence by thanking him and praising him. That's building an altar unto the Lord. Are you guys with me? So you, you can change the whole dynamic of your family through worship and praise. Through worship and praise in your house, everything within your family will change. 
Thanksgiving. Uh, sorry, already said it. Seth and I uh, of our thank you prayers that we do. I'm, I'm quite like party pooper. Sorry, using all my examples. So, <laughs> so what, what I do is when Seth and I, when I drop him to school, we do the thank you prayer. We take turns thanking Jesus for different things. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the house. Thank you for the car. Thank you for the clothes we're wearing. Thank you, Jesus, for your finished work on the cross. Thank you for your name, Jesus. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. Thank you for the greatest gift, your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for saving us. Thank you for family and friends, Jesus. And then sometimes we just name everyone that we know. Thank you for this brother. Thank you for that. But it's unending, that thanksgiving, giving it to him. That's the way he loves it. Thanksgiving is the entrance or it's the door into the presence of the Lord. And what's the next step? Praise. Praise. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> okay. Praise. Michael, you come up and do it later, yeah? <laughs> All right. but, that, but, but that's the beauty of it. God doesn't care how you sound as long as you're praising him. Recently, I've been telling the worship team what song I want by confusing them. <laughs> I go up to them and I sing it for them. And they look at me like, like and then I, I just believe it's the fear of the Lord. You know, when true praise comes, the presence of the Lord comes, sacrifice, fire, <laughs> and they're like, whoa. <laughs> <You know? laughs> when, <laughs> this is what God loves to be approached. Thanksgiving, that's the entrance. Praise is in his inner courts. How many of you eat dessert before your starters? If you do, you're weird. All right. So. <laughs> And these two are the reason there's no dessert <laughs> when we get to dessert. <laughs> All of you have dressed appropriately. None of you have dressed up like Superman today. For those of you who get it, you get it. Yeah. All right, some of you are clocking. You're wondering what it is. Not, not the recent Superman, like the old Superman. Yeah, he was dressing up so quick. <laughs> He looked at this piece and he's like, oh, what do I do with that? Oh, just put it on and go. Save the world. <laughs> Psalm chapter 22, verse 3, it says, But you are holy, enthroned in the praise of Israel. Or he, God is enthroned in the praises of Israel. Or he inhabits. He li lives, he dwells in the praises of his people. So if you and I praise, however loud or unmelodious it sounds he is dwelling in it so when he's dwelling in it God's not like oh I want to come to your house so I'll, I'll just stand in the side I mean, no he's God he is king he takes over the whole place it becomes his dwelling place that it transforms us gathering together when we when we praise him we usher in his presence the dwelling place of Jesus there Revelation 21, behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. God himself will be with them as their God. This is our desire. Praise is not singing songs about us, me, myself. God already knows everything that you and I need. And we don't have any right to glorify ourselves in worship. God will not tolerate that. Some, uh, Jesus I praise you, Lord. I just, that's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. But anyway, <laughs> to access God's presence, we don't sing about ourselves. We sing to who? To, to God, to Jesus. There's a direction. Amen. Psalm 145, uh, or there's, there's so many examples. Like Exodus 15, when they crossed the Red Sea, there's this whole song. Turn, turn there, turn there. Check this out. It is amazing, Exodus 15. Where is it? Where is it? It's after 14. It says the song of Moses. Check out the lyrics of this. I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Not Israel has triumphed. God has triumphed gloriously. Hallelujah. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my song. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on. And he has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise Him. My Father's God and I will exalt Him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is His name. Oh my gosh. 
It is directed at him. Him alone. Thank you, Jesus, that you saved my life. Thank you, Jesus, that you healed me. Verse 6, your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Not me. I've not become glorious because I've been serving the Lord for so long. Look at me. No. God's hand has become even more glorious because my eyes have opened up more to it. Amen. My flesh has died and died and died. Today, my flesh is dead even more than it was yesterday. Amen. So that I can see him. And in, the, and in the greatness of your excellence, you have in the greatness of your excellence. Wow. These guys, man, David, Moses, all of them, how do they write these songs? Matt Redman, Jeremy Riddle, whoo, what a guy. <laughs> but I think, why is they're praising him always at home? I can just read this, keep reading it. Oh. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods, small gods? Who is, well, they don't exist, but who is like you, glorious in holiness? Fearful in praises, doing wonders. You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. You in your mercy have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. You in your mercy, Jesus came down and saved and redeemed each and every one of us. You have guided them. God, you guided them in your strength to your holy habitation, to your holy dwelling place. You have guided us. He himself draws us to him. Oh, Jesus, you are beautiful. Praise is centered and directed around and to God alone. The final destination, our end reward, our destination is always God in praise and thanksgiving. It must be God. Nothing else. Psalm 145, verse 3. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Oh, and his greatness is unsearchable. Oh, if God came here right now in the fullness of his greatness, he'll be unsearchable, but we'll be going, great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. I want that. Do you want it? Then thanksgiving and praise to him centered around him. The destination where I want to go when I start thanksgiving is Him. I don't want to detour to have a glimpse of the congregation. I don't want to detour to check how my life or my social media feed is going. God is so great that I want to give Him the greatest and most magnificent, glorious praise that ever existed. Worship team, that must be our heart. Capstone family, anyone watching online, that must be our heart. That when we come to him, I want to give him the greatest, most glorious worship and thanksgiving that ever existed. Don't want to wait for a build up. I want to go all out. I brought a backup t-shirt today. Because <laughs> I was like. No one's going to stop me from dancing and jumping, if you call it dancing. But it's unto the Lord. Hey, King David, yeah, danced, and they looked at him like, what a nutter. <laughs> but God said, ah, man after my heart. I'll abandon. There is no thinking praise. That is not God's love language. God's will to be approached is Vocal praise, great praise that is deserving to him. So any other thing that we think is praise that is not biblical, cross-handed, silence, meditating on God is not biblical. And that is not praise. As simple as that. I don't need to dwell on that. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11. Therefore God has highly exalted Jesus and given Jesus the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The glory 
to the glory of God the Father. This is not just for unbelievers that, oh, one day the whole world, when they find out, know that Jesus is the Lord, they will bow their knees and confess. No, it is for us right now. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Everything Jesus did, even in, we know John 17, 3, he, Jesus is praying to God the Father. And he says, Father, knowing you and your Son whom you've sent, this is eternal life. And then in verse 4, Jesus says, I have glorified you here on earth. That is our role now. Glorify God here on earth. In everything that we do, publicly display it. Don't be shy about it. Because yours and my life, it doesn't belong to us anymore. The minute we resist and step back, we're stepping into another master's territory. And I don't want to go there. We are to lift the name, above Jesus, the name of Jesus above everything else in our lives. Take a look at your life and your family's life, mine included, I'm looking. Is there anything that is competing with the name of Jesus? It can be anything. You'll know better. I was, I was telling Sari this morning, like, I've, I've given up social media for, I don't know, a couple of weeks? Two weeks? Three, I don't know. I told her, I felt like I've, I've been getting deliverance. Like, I'm serious. It's not a joke. Like, you know, there's, like, I, I send a lot of funny memes out, like, those, like, <laughs> you know, and, and I was like, that's false joy. Like, mo I like it, okay, don't get me wrong. But... <laughs> But literally, I was feeling like this, this gap. And I realized that gap, that time that you scroll to those reels, like you look at it, you've gone like an hour, two hours, it's gone. That time I've misused. When I, that time I could be sitting at his feet, worshiping him, thanksgiving to him. That's your personal choice, okay? But I suggest it's a good move. All of you be delivered. <laughs> We are to lift the name of Jesus above everything in our life and our family's life. It starts at home and in our lives. The Holy Spirit bears witness and testifies to the name of Jesus alone. Holy Spirit is not going to bear witness or testify of anything else apart from Jesus. That's why He's here right now with us, to point us to Him. To point us to Him. In every unction, everything we get, we see someone who's unsaved walking, we get this nudge. What is it? To point them to Jesus. This unction, when you're going to do something wrong, he's like, no, 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 don't go into sin. Point, point to Jesus, the one who saved you, redeemed you, the one who loved you, laid his life down for you. That's the Holy Spirit. He will witness and testify of Jesus all the time. That when we're worshiping here, worship leaders are all of us. Like, there's so many times you don't know where to go and then you get this song. And then you glorify Him and the presence of the Lord just comes like... Because that's the Holy Spirit pointing you to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I love Jesus. Oh, my notes. <laughs> it just disappeared for a second. I, oh, this, this, this is something else. When Jesus taught His disciples to pray, it wasn't a ritual. It wasn't a religious repetition. Think about how he started it. Our Father who art in heaven. Oh, beholding our Father who is seated in the heavenly. Holy is your name. Hallowed be your name. You started praising him. Do you see this? We've taken our eyes off everything else and we fixed it on our destination. And we're saying, holy, holy is your name. It wasn't a religious prayer. Then we say, our oh, Father, what is holy is your name. I remember my dad made me by heart that prayer. <laughs> like I wanted to, I said it so quick to him. Our oh, Father, what is your name? He's like, oh, well done, good job. <laughs> your will, your kingdom come, your will be done. We're, we're expecting his kingdom. The kingdom comes with the king. Oh, almost fell off, but saved. <laughs> <laughs> Your will be done. Suddenly I've come to God with my prayer request, my prayer list. I've beholded Him. I've fixed my eyes on Him. And I start declaring, Holy is your name, Abba Father. You are seated in the heavens. Your kingdom come on earth as it is. Your will be done. Suddenly my prayer request and my will becomes ash. 
Because his, I'm in his presence. When you're in his presence, let's, I'm just asking, when you're in his presence, what else can you think about other than him? Isn't it? When the glory of God comes, when you're in his presence, you're like, oh, I want you. Lord, help me. I want more of you. I don't want to leave this place. I love you, Jesus. Worthy are you. We are to declare his reign, his authority. We are to declare this all the time. We are to declare his kingdom, his will, his holiness. Keep declaring it. That's praise. Amen? Are you guys with me? We will not go back to be the same if we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. God inhabits the praises of his people. God dwells in it. He doesn't move. And, when we, and it says he's enthroned in the praises. That means we're giving him lordship, kingship, authority over us when we praise. So every other thing that was messing around with us is subject to him dethroned, destroyed. Every other thing that is not in God's kingdom must bow down. Fruitlessness, sin, sickness will bow down to the glory of God. We as leaders ourselves will bow down when the presence of God comes. In Solomon's temple, when the glory of God came, they fell on their face. Blah, blah. Jesus, I'm a baby now. I have no idea. Oh my gosh. When <laughs> flesh gets exposed in his presence. And flesh becomes a clanging symbol. So if you're not in the spirit and worshiping him in spirit and truth, in his eyes, in his presence, becomes a clanging symbol. It's a noise. Ah, Jesus. Psalms, you know, Psalm 149, let the, let the high praise of God be in their mouth. Oh, this is, this is, this is, this is I love, this I learned earlier, and I'm so grateful to our, our past, founding pastors, Pastor Rakesh and Pastor Preeti, our founding pastors, Sari and I, our lead pastors, local church, they taught us as praise as a weapon. Prayer is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. So anytime you're feeling battle or anything, you take praise as a weapon. If praise in your time of toughness or whatever is going on battle, if praise is not leaving your mouth, then you're not fighting it. We can listen to worship, but we must join in. We must declare the greatness and goodness of our God. We must declare who He is. That is praise. So then don't be surprised if praise is not leaving your mouth. We, you and I, we're in the same situation then. Stuck. Psalm 149 verse 6, it says, Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. In verse 8, it says, To bind their kings with chains. This is talking about the spiritual principalities. And their nobles with fetters of iron. Pooh. To get it, let the high praise of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. So when we're praising Him, that's the image. That's what's happening in the spirit, that the spiritual principalities and hosts, every demon is being bound. And they bow at the name of Jesus. The atmosphere is subject to the dominion of Jesus. So you want to change atmosphere at your home or go on the streets, Declare the praises of Jesus. Everything else bows down then. That's what we saw when we were in evangelism, isn't it? When they started worshiping a few, a month ago, maybe a month ago, when they broke out into worship, the whole atmosphere shifted and people flocked. Hallelujah. Psalm 34. Okay, worship team, come back up. Uh, I want to do that. Pray, but I will not be silent. My God, it Come on. Are you guys ready to praise God? Come on, stand up. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. All right. <laughs> Psalm chapter 34, verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. Let's read that together. Psalm 34, not uh, 34 one, not 134. That is great praise. <laughs> 34. Thank you. Psalm 34, verse 1. Allison, you have been phenomenal. Yeah. Everyone stretch your hands towards us and say, thank you, Allison. That, 
Projection was on point. Bless you. 34 verse 1. There we go. Because Allison was going to praise more. She's like, I don't want to do this. I want to worship the Lord. <laughs> all right, let's read that together. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Wow. Read it again. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. If there is any other dominion in your life, it must bow down with thanksgiving and praise unto Jesus. Because our thanksgiving and praise enthrones the King of Kings, Jesus Christ in our lives. This is going to be our lifestyle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is going to be and is our lifestyle. Change it today. Change it at home. Change it in your prayer room. Don't go with the list of prayer needs alone. You do that as well. But start with thanksgiving. Enter his courts. Enter the gate with thanksgiving. Get into the inner courts with praise. That's the love language he likes. That's the love language he has listed out here. It's his will. He wants you and me with him. And we enter. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I want to invite you to come forward. There's a lot of space here. Don't stay back. Come on, break out of that mold of the chair. <clears throat> come forward. Come on. No one's looking at you. Actually, if you're going to fix your eyes on Jesus, I don't care how you're going to worship. <laughs> and I'll praise in the valley, praise on the mountain. I'll praise when I'm sure, and praise when I'm doubting. And I'll praise when I'm numb, praise when surrounded. Praise is the waters, my enemies drowning. Let's go. Because as long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to praise the Lord, oh my soul. Praise the Lord and praise the Lord, oh my soul. No, I, no, I won't be quiet. My God is alive. How could I keep it inside? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, my soul. And I'll praise when I feel it. And I'll praise when I don't. Come on. And I'll praise because I know you're still in control. Because praise is my weapon. It's more than a sound. Hey, my praise is the shout that brings Jericho down. Hey, as long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to praise. Oh, my soul. Praise the Lord. She praise. Why my God is alive? How could I keep it? No, I won't be quiet. No, I won't be quiet. My God is alive. How could I? 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything, Let everything that has breath. That has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything. Let everything that has breath. That has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing, praise the Lord. Come on. Praise the Lord. Let everything. Let everything that has breath. That has breath. Sing, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything. Let everything that has breath. That has breath. Come on, praise the Lord. My God is alive. How could I keep it inside? No, I won't be quiet. My God is alive. How could I keep it inside? No, I won't be quiet. Oh! 
Come on, let's, let's express our praise in tongues for some time. In tongues, in tongues. Don't give him praise with your tongues. Jesus, we give you glory. We give you praise, Lord. 
Jesus, we give you all glory, all, all praise. Jesus. Lord, when Paul and Silas, they praised you in their darkest hour, Lord. The power of God came and broke the chains. Lord, I thank you today. Stubborn problems that was stuck in 2023. Can we take some time to just praise the Lord for getting all our problems and give him all our praise, all glory. But don't get tired, guys. Hey, ba, 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 ba. Jesus. Yes, there are problems right in front of me. But Lord, just like the people of Israel obeyed your voice and they praised you in front of the Jericho, Lord, we are going to take some time and praise the Lord. Can we do that, guys? Oh, Father, we love you. I see the walls coming down. I see chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains of death be broken in the name of Jesus. 2024 will be a year of death cancellation. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that over God's people today. In the name of Jesus, your people will praise you in freedom. In Jesus' name. Father, thank you that 2024 will be a year of greater freedom, Lord. You will reign in us. You will reign through us. Jesus. We love you, Lord. Lord, where would we be without you? Still be lost in darkness, Lord. But Lord, we thank you that you saved us. You chose us. You called us. You chose us by name. Lord. Separated us unto you, Jesus. To be a praise of yours, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time for the communion. At this time of communion, we are actually going to praise the Lord for His mercy shown to us at the cross. That's the underlying issue. That's the underlying thing. Everything comes together at the cross. At this point of intersection between 2023 and 2024, we stand here so thankful for all that he's done. I want to just read a verse from Galatians chapter 6. This is what it reads. But far be it from me to boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. You see, there is common grace that God is the God who is so merciful. He will reign both on the, the just and the unjust. There are things that both because you are, just because you're created in God's image, there is mercy shown to us, all us creation. You, those of us that are human beings. But when we come into Christ, there is, we come under the blood. So everything that we are thankful for is actually a blood-bought gift. Apart from the cross of Christ, we have nothing to boast about. Nothing. If the world is not crucified to you today, and if there is still a fascination in the world that you long for, that you come to God, that ultimately you can get something in the world, you have not taken the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ seriously. You have not applied yourselves to the cross and the cross has not worked its life in the inside of you. At 
this point and of our year we need to come back to the cross that's where god will put his true praise in the inside of you our praise is a blood everything that we are thankful for i i i i i love what as even if asari has been saying and we are not just thanking the universe we thank thanking the lord and savior jesus christ through him we call him abba father he has given us all things in christ hallelujah if the ashes can pass out the elements i uh, this today is the 14th year of my baptism the, on this day i am so, i'm so thankful to jesus and i want to just personally indulge myself this also is the 7th year mark around this time was when 7 years ago when i came to be part of this family and i'm so thankful man you guys have oh love me so much in in and uh, and love my rough edges with my entire self you know thank you <laughs> and uh, i'm i'm not a easy person to love and i and you guys have received me and love me and i am so thankful for this family and <laughs> ask my wife <laughs> we are very easy to love <laughs> amen i <laughs> but thank you i'm i'm thank amen no it's good no i know i know i know i'm loved i know i'm loved i <laughs> i know i'm really loved i thank you guys man i'm um it's a time <laughs> No 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 I'm really love I know that I, and I'm just <laughs> I'm just like see this is this during this time of communion you know it's um we should not uh, just be looking upwards we should also look sideways and that's a firm conviction of mine especially during communion his body was broken that we might be made one that's what the communion is all about and during this time of communion let's thank God for every relationship that God has given us in him and also looking into 2024 see our our expectations and our vision is not to make 2024 great it's to live on to eternity to look beyond 2024 pastor jeevan said it's about pleasing the father living in such a way that every day we wake up lord how can i please you more in pursuit of that pleasure of the father we will our lives will be really satisfied i can write my life on this that nothing will satisfy you than the will of god nothing else and so capstone church together as we partake of the communion can i have one, one of the elements please i did not <laughs> thank you so much no thank you let's partake of this together amen there is so many promises ahead of us there are god wants to fill us with his life and i feel this first part of the year he he's going to give us a divine hunger to really pursue him let's let's participate and and co-labor with that grace he's giving us to really pursue him in this first i really feel that and and in the pursuit of him he will show us what he has us to do amen So let's partake of this together on the night that the Lord Jesus was betrayed he took bread he broke it he gave thanks Lord we thank you for your broken body through which we have been made one we have been grafted into the family of God Lord Lord thank you for Mama Muria Lord and she has joined the cloud of witnesses Lord and her life is calling us to become a witness of yours Lord in this next year Lord help us Lord we want to live to please you would you help us even in this moment as we partake of this communion together we want would you release grace to every heart thank you let's partake of this together thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus we boast in the cross we thank you for the cross thank you for your death on the cross jesus your glory is revealed fully at the cross lord. We thank you Jesus. Let's also try and open the plastic thing for the juice. <laughs> thank you. Praise God. 
thank you no no thank you father we thank you for your ha ah, jesus your blood that was shed for the remission of our sins lord our transgressions our iniquities lord was laid upon you that we could have peace with you lord and fellowship with you lord we drink this with thankfulness at most thankfulness lord thank you lord we commit our dreams our plans our desires unto you jesus just as it says in james chapter 4 lord if the lord wills we will do all this for your glory would you help us thank you for this wonderful anointed presence filled time that we've had this morning lord in jesus name amen thank you evan most loved in this family <laughs> and most loved in the family from vietnam we have jitin chandi with us Jitin and his wife Ashwini and their children live in Vietnam which seems far away but we love you bro we're so happy you're here yeah we we still love you yeah even though you went that far away we love you <laughs> He's hosting a meeting in Vietnam at the end of January so pray for him and the hosting of it that far greater glory that's he, that is here will impact where you are in that nation and do send us a message to a build up to it so that we can pray so how many of you are going to pray for what they're gathering over there oh i just feel god's delight in that are you going for it pastor preeti's traveling uh, end of jan which we will let her come okay so <laughs> wait oh somebody took my phone which had the announcements that ah, there <laughs> i still love you but <laughs> <laughs> Anybody first time here first Sunday in Capstone Sam I remember you I for, I'm trying to remember your name I, Roseanne welcome Sam and Roseanne want to get um who's who's here Eben our most loved of Capstone will be saying hi to you guys yeah <laughs> Anybody else first Sunday with us I can't see anybody it's the lights Jason who's that that's bet who's with Yana Jana, welcome. Uh sorry you over here. My beautiful wife. Wave, wave. Babe, wave. So she'll be coming to say hi to you. Want to get to know you guys a bit more and if you want to know more about what's happening here, ask them. <laughs> so, uh we have our New Year's Eve service today evening, okay? So, it starts at 10 p.m. but We start with dinner at 8 p.m. Come on. Oh, we're going to feast together. It's a build up to the What's that? No, no, I don't think so. That doesn't look like the menu. All right, all right. Stop dribbling over that. Come on. <laughs> Ella looked for a picture with the most amount of food in it. <laughs> Says, so "Please come for it." And feast with us together as family testimonies we will be taking testimonies you will share today evening what Jesus did for you so prepare it and come prepare it like compact okay like within one and a half minutes if possible if you go more than that then James who's going to be hosting it will be saying this is his mic and he takes it back but so testimony is what was happening before what Jesus did and where it is now So keep that in mind. How things were before or what the problem was, how Jesus broke through and what is happening now. How awesome life is, okay? All right. So do come, yeah? Yeah, I just want to add one more thing. Um how many I I assume most of you are coming this evening. Yeah. So but those of you who are not coming this evening, um I I want to do something because we start our fasting and prayer on on Jan 8th, right? Uh 8th of Jan we do our fasting and prayer and every year we we start um when it is an amazing time. But uh, and I I feel challenged to do this so I want to kind of I feel we all need to get a bit fit. In the spirit, in the physical and in different areas. Are seeing those who are not jumping. Yeah. <laughs> so um So uh Preetha and I we in 2023 was it this year right we did this 10,000 steps a day challenge um we got wiped out by the Americans 
Okay, there was one guy, he was doing 20,000 steps a day. Uh, if he was in the same country, would have taken a contract out on him. My friend's, my friend's husband. But um, we want to do something like that. How many of you would be interested? Just for one month maximum. Because we can't do more than that. But <laughs> I'm just being honest. How many would be interested to get a bit fit? I see wives nudging husbands. Okay, so yes. So, um, and so um, the fitness part, Spom and I and anybody else, I need a third person to help consolidate that. Uh, we, it's going to be a WhatsApp group. We post what we're going to do. Okay, so if you're not here this evening, we started tomorrow. I'm telling you now, Spawn. Okay, and Preetha. Excellent. Preetha is going to do it. She adds really well. Okay, and the second thing that we want to do, I, I want to do, this is my offering uh, to the Lord is I want to, I'm going to start a WhatsApp group just teaching um, for a month on scripture. How many would you be interested in that? Yeah, so it'll be, uh, I'll figure it out how I'm doing, uh, but we're, I'm just, just teaching. Going scripture by scripture, we may spend four hours, or I may spend four hours on one verse. Okay, but it'll be that where we're reading and studying. Is that okay? So this is my offering. You hold me accountable tomorrow. You don't want to miss that. And for the steps thing, I'll tie it onto my daughter's hand. <laughs> <laughs> on set yeah so no cheating <laughs> so come with your testimonies okay there, there has to be something God did you you have to testify of Jesus throughout if you testify of him he'll testify of you to the father okay so media team there is a call out for the media team uh, this is not just for those who are in the media team if you want to get trained and equipped in serving in media and sound give your names to Ella, Ella in the green jumper. Ella, wave your hand. Volunteer Ella. Where's Shnez? Oh, Shnez is on camera. See, she's showing you how it's done. So, <laughs> no, but we have a great team now that we really want to equip the team in, to a higher skill level because we want to, um, I did this video um, for a call out for this and the heart is the great commission. Jesus said, go into all the world, healing the sick, casting out demons, saving, saving all creation, and also making disciples of all nations. Now, to do that, media is a powerful tool. And we want to be able to disciple and impart what's happening here all over the world. Make it available. For that, we're upping the game. And we need to up the game, okay? So if you're interested, give your name to Ella. Uh, January, yeah. Oh, there's two meetings on Jan 5th, 7th, 3rd, Jan? 3rd and 5th and 7th. There you go. I was right. So the weekdays, which is Jan 3rd and 5th, will be here 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in person. So they're going to give you equipment and make you do a lot of stuff with it. Okay, it's going to be media stuff. Don't worry. And on Jan 7th, after service on Sunday, for another two hours, they'll be training. So please do come for it. Um, January theme, do we have it up? That's our January theme. Write down the vision, make it plain, so that they may run. Habakkuk 2.2. So get your books ready, start writing stuff down. All right, and what else is on? We have fasting and prayer that starts, 21 days of fasting and prayer starts on Sunday, January 7th. So Sunday 7th, when you come to church, don't come with a full belly, <laughs> right? <laughs> we start fasting. You know, every time we start fasting and prayer, people come to me. Even me included, go to people saying, does it start today? Yeah. And then they're like, oh, I have to do an extra day towards the end of it. <laughs> All right. Then uh, we have Chris and Summer Sheely with us leading worship on Jan 9th and 10th. Uh, they're, they're, they're family. They call Capstone their UK home church. And they're excited to come. So... Yeah, Dwayne knows them well. I think uh, Steve will also be with us at that time. Steve has also said, I think 12th and 13th, he's going to be here leading worship during the fasting and prayer. Surprise. Woo, excitement. Um, LPC, London Prophetic Center, Mentoring Day, Dream Interpretation. We have Barbie, what's her surname? Brettet. Barbie Brettet with us 
And I would encourage each and every one to come. She is supposedly the premier best dream interpreter that in, in the world at the moment. She's a woman of God, and it's an honor and privilege to have her with us. Uh, uh? 13th. 13th Saturday. That's 13th Saturday, okay? Just in case you were thinking. But you were supposed to dream interpret it. Ask the Lord when it's happening. But I just gave it away. You guys are blessed. Um, oh, the last one is most likely yes. <laughs> Pastor Steve Oppel with us on Jan 6th evening. That's a Saturday, right? No, Friday. I will let him know that he has... Yeah, I'll call him and tell him Jan 26th, Friday, you're with us, by the way. So pray for me <laughs> as I ask him. <laughs> All right, let's stand up. Final benediction. We could actually worship all the way till night, right? And have dinner and come. And everyone's like, oh. <laughs> I don't want, I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Just the drummer, in it? <laughs> Father, we thank you that you sent your son that he could point us back towards you. And Holy Spirit, we thank you that you point us to Jesus. And Father, we leave here fixing our eyes on you, knowing that we are your beloved and you are ours. And Lord, we ask that you would give us the strength to build your altar in our homes, in our personal lives. That each and every one here, right now, when you go home, it's different. It's all shifted. Principalities, everything hindering you has been broken in the name of Jesus. Del, I feel your family is going to be delivered. Not just your immediate family, but your extended family. I see deliverance happening. That is just like Israel was delivered out of Egypt. It's going to be such a change and contrast in your family in the year 2024. You won't recognize your family because such will be the glory of God upon them. All your sons, daughters, and your wife, and your grandchildren, and extended family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you glory. And any of you want that in your life for your families to be saved? No, in Acts 16, 31, Peter said, if you believe unto the Lord Jesus, you and your family will be saved. There's no doubt in it. So cling on to that verse and name those people saying, this person will be saved. This person will be saved. God, we give you glory. We love you. Cover each and every one with your precious blood. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, shout it, amen. Amen. Oh, prophetic words. If you want a prophetic word, some of our team's going to be here to give you prophetic words. So line up, bring your phone, record it. There's tea and coffee downstairs. I love you guys. God bless you. See you later. Bye.